I risked driving a thousand and sixty kilometers for nothing because my cat was almost rejected at the border. Hi everyone, how are we? I hope you're well. Would you like to come on a road trip across Europe that brings us 75 meters below the sea level in a tunnel? Easy, just watch the video. At the beginning of January, me, my Scottish grandma and my cat left my hometown on Lake Como in northern Italy to cross Switzerland, France and England to reach Scotland, which was my final destination, because that's where I live and I wanted to bring my car and cat over over from Italy. We stopped twice to sleep, once in Rance, France and once in Cambridge, England. I drove a total of 1,906 kilometers and decided to cross the channel with the Euro Tunnel and not the ferry. In two days I will be traveling back to Scotland with my car and my cat. And she doesn't love <laughs> traveling by car. I just bought another cat carrier and it's way more comfortable and soft than this one so her journey will be way better. I will be traveling from northern Italy and I will cross Switzerland, France, all the way to Calais where there's the Euro tunnel. We are ready to go. A long drive is awaiting us. It's not the drive which scares me, but it was just putting away all my stuff, as always. That's the most stressful part, in my opinion anyway, so goodbye Lake Como. We've got what I'm giving her to make her calmer and it's natural so the vet said that worst case scenario it doesn't change anything and best case she's more relaxed. sure to stop plenty of times during the drive to walk a bit to give mini a break and also to have something to drink i've never had that many red bulls in my life but they were so useful they were honestly the kick that i needed because the last two hours before stopping for the night in runs i was about to pass out for the tiredness i must say that service stations in france are quite expensive decided she wants to drive now. That's fine with me.
Et ce genre de bouboule qui est un gentil garçon. Oh, oui, c'est une bouboule. Oui, bouboule. Ouais. We're going to visit the cathedral of... In 200... is the 12th most populous city in France. Located around 100 kilometers northeast of Paris, that is one hour and a half drive, Rance is the unofficial capital of the Champagne wine growing region. World War I greatly damaged the city. German bombardment and a fire in 1914 damaged the cathedral and its ruined photo became one of the central images of anti-German propaganda produced in France during the war. During World War II, Rounds was damaged once again, but on the 7th of May 1945, the Victory in Europe Day, the German Wehrmacht signed the unconditional surrender while in the city. Bonjour à tous les monde. We just had breakfast and I was denied a soy cappuccino and I'm really angry about it. <laughs> <laughs> La Cathedral Notre Dame de Reims is the massive monument of the city. Completed in 1275, the cathedral is a masterpiece of Gothic architecture and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Bigger than Notre Dame de Paris, it has housed the coronation of 25 kings of France. Hi everyone, so the next destination is Dunkirk because I would love to see the beaches where there were the battles of the Second World War and I would love to go to Normandy but it's too far away. We would just like to get to Scotland sooner because there's my aunt and my cousins up in Scotland. So I'm going to visit Normandy another time. Now we'll go get the car. My cat is not happy to go back in the car for the whole day. We'll be driving two hours and a half to Dunkirk and then half an hour away there's the Euro Tunnel and the crossing takes 40 minutes. I hope we won't have any problems with Mini. I always get very anxious uh, about that, all the bureaucracy and controls and everything. And then from Calais we'll get to Folkestone in southern England. Let's go! By the way, we recommend Hotel Crystal in Rins. <laughs> En France, et Mini c'est pas trop happy <rire> parce que elle n'aime pas voyager, voyager avec la voiture. Et oui, I studied five years of French, but I should revise it a bit, right, Mini? I gave her the natural tranquilizer and. I don't know if it's working. This morning I forgot to give it to her, so I gave it to her at a service station. Each time I come back to the car, she's hiding under my driving seat. And obviously I almost had a heart attack because I go back to the car and I don't see her. So I think that she somehow managed to escape at the service station near the motorway. But no, she was hiding under the driving seat. It's incredible how cats manage to give you heart attacks because they hide too well. Enough with my rambling, see you later, bye. To bring a pet to the UK from mainland Europe, there's various rules to follow. I had done the same journey in early 2019 before Brexit and nothing changed. I already knew what they would have asked of us, a valid European passport, a microchip and anti-rabies vaccination at least 21 days prior to the journey, a warming treatment in the previous X hours, and a health check also in the previous X hours, I can't remember how many. When I entered the Petra 
reception, the receptionist told me to scan my cat's microchip myself with a device. They don't check them physically, it's just paperwork, unless there's issues, I guess. Then she quietly checked the paperwork while my heart was beating really fast. After a couple minutes of taking photocopies, she came back telling me the vet hadn't stamped and signed the anti-rabies on the passport. By this time they would let me go, but I had to make sure to ask the vet to sign it next time I'm in Italy. What can I say? I had started planning this trip three months in advance with countless emails, phone calls, text messages and a total of five appointments with different vets and no one noticed such a big mistake. I think they only let us pass because I lit a candle in Rennes Cathedral that morning and asked for our trip to be safe and successful. It takes just 35 minutes to reach England from France. Trains can travel through the tunnel at speeds as high as 160 km per hour and the Eurotunnel has the longest undersea portion of any tunnel in the world with 37.8 km below the sea level. We recommend that you stay with your vehicle. Do not stand or walk between the vehicles during the crossing. As a safety measure, keep your windows open halfway. Flash photography and smoking are strictly forbidden on board. Interfere with our fire detection systems. The Euro tunnel is not cheap, but it's very quick, convenient, and everything runs smoothly, except of course the issue with my cat. to get answers no matter the cost. Our new thriller, Light in the Hall, continues on Channel 4. Would like a dog with a mischievous side. Parents, Anna and Craig. Good morning, everyone. We're about to have breakfast and then we'll drive all the way to Scotland, finally. It's the last part of the trip and it's going to take us six hours and a half. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like, let me know in the comments what is your favorite way to travel, either driving, flying, taking a train, going on a motorbike. If you like, leave me some feedback on what you like about my channel, what you would like to see more or what you would like to see less. Leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet and I hope you learned something new and you had fun while traveling on the road with us. See you in the next video. Bye bye!